Tessa Blanchard with her first defense of the Phoenix of Rise championship. She's You're right, Lexi, this is Tessa Blanchard's first title defense. And we heard from her right after she won uh, Rise Ascent Episode 7, where she said that it, is, it shouldn't be the championship that makes the woman, it should be the woman that makes the championship. Something along those lines. Something very motivational and inspirational, I'm sure. So now it's time to uh, put up a shut up. Well, I mean, she has a big challenge in Madison Rain. Madison Rain has a lot of experience under her belt. I used the word belt. That was funny. Um, championship belt. You know, and she, within one week, Madison Rain is, is challenging for the Phoenix of Rise Championship, the Women of Honor Championship, and the Knockouts Championship. She could have three belts all in one week if things go her way. Oh, she is super confident right now. She was just mocking Tessa, touching the belt, going, touching, touching, which is adorable. But maybe a little cocky. I don't know. She's holding out her hand like for a handshake. I don't really think she means it. I don't see Tessa going for that handshake. A lot of people don't like Tessa Blanchard, and it's for a good reason. Super cocky. Tessa just rolling out of the ring. I don't even think she's buying time. I think she's just messing with Madison's head, but... Madison's doing a little uh, psychology of her own. Taking a little lounge break. I got all the time in the world, she says. Well, you know, this would have been a good strategy for the 30-minute Iron Woman match, but maybe not so much if you get yourself counted out. Yeah, that's not going to help you. I mean, at the same time, if you get counted out, the belt doesn't change hands, so Tessa would still be the Phoenix of Rise champion. That's true. That's true. Up oh, now Madison Rain taking a little break. I don't think either of these women really want to be counted out. I think they just want to mess with each other's heads. Now, Madison Rain beat Tessa Blanchard twice on impact. Oh, that might be in Tessa's head a little bit then. Now, Tessa was not the Phoenix of Rise champion at the time. It was not for a championship. But that absolutely has to be in the back of Tessa's mind. Uh, they've met in the ring twice, and she's come up on the short end twice. So uh, definitely, that, that could be... A big issue if you let the mental games affect your wrestling. See if that happens with Tessa or not. A lot of reversals Ooh. leads into a huge head scissors by Madison Rain. Oh, and she says something not nice. Yeah, I feel like Tessa does that to all of her opponents. She's just really angry at everyone. You know, if being angry helps you in championships, maybe it's good to be a little angry sometimes. Tessa's slowing down the pace here. There was a lot of flipping and flopping, and Tessa's like, no, we're going to slow down. Maybe not slow down that much, though. Drop kick to the back, follow by cover. Trying to make quick work of Madison Rain. Kicks Just out the last second. Count. Madison looks like she's already hurting here. Yep, and you are right. She is she is slowing it down, trying to wear Madison Rain down. It's good thinking on Tessa's part. Madison trying to feed off the crowd's energy. She gets loose. See what happens. And gets taken back down. Tessa just gets this look in her eyes. She looks insane. Like her eyes bug out of her head. She pushes that jaw forward and she just looks like she's going to rip you to shreds.
I mean, whatever you want to say about Tessa Blanchard and people not liking her, she is an awesome opponent in the ring. You have to be on your best in order to beat her. I mean, yeah, she's talented. Look, she's already got Madison down on the mat. She has her legs locked up. She's already working on that knee. At the same time, punching her in the head. There's a lot going on. Now she looks like she's stretching out her arms. Putting pressure on that neck. And she, all, she's working every angle right now. Every angle. Blood's rushing to Madison's head. It's got to be uncomfortable, to say the least. Does not look like Madison's night. Tessa going for that series of clotheslines she's known for. Hangs onto that wrist. Twists it around and then just picks it up again for another clothesline. There she got that look in her face. I was going to say, there was that crazy look you were talking about. I saw that, yes. Got them crazy eyes. Madison trying not to get stuck in this abdominal stretch, but she's locked in. She's really stretching Madison Rain out. And I feel like the match has just begun. Yeah. I mean, it could be over before we know it. Oh. Madison reverses that into a pin. And another one. Uh, she had a little momentum going. Huge Tessa roll up there. I mean, cut that off. the main event of uh, Rise Ascent Episode 8, we saw Chelsea Green go over Britt Baker with a quick roll up. That could happen here. We could have a new Phoenix of Rise champion just like that. Or just, just like that. Just like that. If Madison can muster up enough energy to make the pin. Yeah, I don't know. That might have taken it out of Madison. Both women are down. Both ladies down at this point. I mean, at the, I feel like if Madison could have made it over to that pin or even collapsed on top of Tessa in a pin, Anything. she could have been the new champion right now. I do. Because that really, really knocked Tessa for a loop. It Tessa's only takes still holding one. a jaw. Look at that. It only takes one kick to the jaw, to the ear to the side of the head, and you could be a new champion. Tessa looks like her trying to put that jaw back in place, maybe checking her teeth. Strike exchanges, oh my goodness. Who's gonna come up on top of this? Tessa looks like she's liking it. I think they I think Tessa wanted it to come to this. Madison trying to use her momentum here. Huge clothesline. Both for a pin on the champ. Tessa's still holding that jaw. Yeah, still trying to I think I mean if it's dislocated, that's really unfortunate. But even if it's not. I'm telling you, getting hit in that jaw, it, you can you can be not able to bite down for a week. Oh, have you ever had your jaw dislocated in a match? I have. It sucks. I've seen Tessa go for this before. Yes. Going for that huge face plant out of the corner. Luckily, Madison was able to get down. Oh, if Madison can just move you faster, get her, get her, get her. This could be it. We could have a new champion right now. Tessa kicks out. Champion says, not today. That was so close. All right, crowd getting behind Madison right now. Huge forearm. I heard that one. Quick roll up here. Madison Rain going for a crucifix oh. bomb. Crucifix bomb. Tessa still kicks out. I thought that was just going to be a pin, but that was a straight up bomb. DDT. The action is going so crazy. And that was it. That was it. And that's what it took, that huge DDT from Tessa Blanchard, who is still the Phoenix of Rise champion. Madison was going for those quick roll-ups. Madison was going for those quick roll-ups, the same quick roll-ups that she has beaten Tessa Blanchard with at Impact Wrestling. Tessa was able to reverse it, hit her with a huge DDT, and is still 
your Phoenix Uprise champion.